From historic Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts, we've got baseball on the show. It's the New York Yankees squaring off against their hated rivals, the Boston Red Sox. And now, your first pitch coming your way next. Boston Red Sox. Labor Torres up to him. The second base. Labor. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that one missed by a ton. Two strike. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's one solo. Now pop up on the infield. Under it. Brings it in. And there's two down. Two outs, space is empty. Now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate. Kicks and fires. Fought off foul. This is a hitter who takes his game to another level, playing at night. Hey. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and the Yanks go quietly. Bottom of the first. Still stepping in for Boston, well, no, Jaron Duran. Don't let him. Don ready. Here it comes. And that one is lifted in the air. Soto snags it on the run. Now it's the shortstop, David Hamilton. And another ball. We got two balls, one strike. Out towards right center field. Judge getting an angle on it. He makes the grab. Two away now. Here's Tyler O'Neill. The right field. Tyler. Two outs, base is empty. Oh, yeah. And that's right, off the inside edge. And a count two and one. And oh, misses inside. In the air out to center. Judge has it sized up. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Second inning set to go. And now the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. All to strike. The pitch. In the air, right field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a quick out number one. And here is Giancarlo Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton. And strike two. Second inning here. No score. Two strikes. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And he makes the catch. And there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. Two outs. And a foul ball. And here it comes. And there's ball four. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So, ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Verdugo off of first with two away. That misses the zone. Two and two. And they'll do it again. On the ground to Devers. They take the force out, and that'll do it. And welcome back to the ballpark. Devers now. 
Kurt Mayfield. Yeah, and here's a fun oh stat God. on Davers. He's at his yeah, best when he's hitting homers and doubles, and by the time he was 26 years old, Devers already had over 150 home runs and more than 200 doubles. He's just the 15th player in baseball history with those kinds of numbers at that age. That's a ball that a lot of times you see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, runner on the goal. And there's a foul ball. Nobody out, runner at first. Bounce that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Swing and a miss, struck him out. That is good. Connor good Wong good. up next for the Red Sox. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Verdugo sizes this one up, drops into the glove. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And he walked him. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. So two on with two away. And Manuel Valdez up next for the Red Sox. Curveball drops in for a strike. First and second, two down. Bottom half of inning number two. Got him swinging. Third out. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, DJ LeMayhew. The line in the pitch. And it skips in the dirt. The 2 2. That's and it misses. That's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Austin Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. That oh, misses right off the outside edge. Top of the third, no score. Swings and misses. Three and two now. Three, two. Catch up to the heater. Labor Torres up to the plate. Next offering in there for a strike. One and two. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Eight down on strikes. And it's a one, two, three inning. Boston, bottom of the inning, oh, no, and stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. The lefty fires. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Foul ball still, one and two count. Fights it off, you'll see another. And now the lefty fights that one away, still one and two. And another ball. Got him. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. So the batting order turns over. Now batting Jaron Duran. One out, base is empty. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Next offering misses, and that's ball two. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. And that's outside. And the count's full. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Only 14 pitches this inning. Good plate ball, appearance ball. there. Able to take the walk. How about it? Well, the batter will be the shortstop, David Hamilton. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. And it's safe. It's a stolen base. The Red Sox with a chance to score first here in the last half of the third. Gets a piece and stays alive. Kicks and deals. Runner goes again. Swing and a miss. For the third. Save. And now the right fielder, Tyler O'Neill. Well, maybe approaching this at bat with a bit too much determination. Sometimes you just got to let the game come to you. The pitch. Swings through that. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick... Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. The one-two. That oh. one missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Great connect on the curveball struck him out. Here at Fenway, start of the fourth. Juan Soto down. Oh, and it is two and one. You know, these Yankees, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations. That one ripped. Tattooed and gone. He'll touch them all. It's one nothing. What I love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get down through the ball to create backspin and hit it out of the ballpark. Really nice job. Aaron Judge at the plate. Next yep, pitch is outside. Righty delivers. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Late swing, foul to the left. The one, two. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Grounder might be two. Quickly to second for one. And that's two. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork and a good feed to second was the key to pulling it off. Pitch two misses. Balls, two point. balls and a strike. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A solo shot. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 2-0. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ball. So two away with nobody on. Here's Alex Verdugo. In the air, left field. Durant makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back now at Fenway, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Leading off, Rafael Devers. And downstairs.
In the air, right center. This is matched. Way back and gone. A gigantic blast. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 2-1. Does an excellent job of getting his arms extended to get the back part of the back to the baseball. Wrists do not roll over. They stay through the zone and on plane. Excellent swing. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. The next offering misses. And the count two and one. But he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Left hand hitter waits. And now it's even up. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. The Yanks leading by a run. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Late on that fastball. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Got him swinging on the curveball. Picks up strikeout number seven. Bobby Dahlbeck up next for the Red Sox. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Look out. That ball was smoked. Man, I am so relieved that they have this. Netting down the lines just ensures. And he got him. Strike three, and that'll retire the side. New inning getting started. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Anthony Volpe. Here's a 1 1. The shortstop takes the ball. Next That's one misses, and now three balls, three balls and a strike. strike. Line drive. Come on. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Fly ball down the line. O'Neill getting an angle on it. Out. Number two. Two outs, space is empty. Austin the Wells stepping in now for the Yankees. Well. Right hey. through there for a strike. Down and in, moved his feet. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swings and misses, and a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Back here at Fenway Park, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Still stepping in for Boston, Ed Manuel Valdez. Right there, three and one. There's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on the fastball. The kick, the 3 2. And he hits a ground ball right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. Off to a good start for the leadoff down. Nice at that right there. Not just the result, but also seeing a lot of pitches. And really good work out there on the mound. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Torres tracks it down for the out. And now here is Jaron Duran. Yeah, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is I want to stay square to the plate and try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. There's one, and that's all they'll get. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And next for the Red Sox, David Hamilton. Rodon fires. And that one in the air center field makes the catch in a goal. All set for the 
the top of the sixth. Here's the second baseman, Glaber Torres. The pitch. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Oh, okay. Nice job of driving that pitch the, the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And he deals. Wouldn't Whoa, chase that time. Popped up. Valdez settles underneath it. Makes the grab one down. Here is Aaron Judge. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. And another ball. And a pitch. And ball four, and Judge takes his walk. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Here's a 1 1. And that one fouled off. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Down to a win. Here's Stanton now. Well, look out here. He's not coming ready to swing in this situation. And that's in the dirt. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Sneaks through, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at third, so it'll be bases loaded and two gone. Well, patience and discipline paid yeah, off yeah, right yeah. there as he Let's got into an advantage count. Uh, just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope oh, it finds a hole. Next pitch is outside. Torres on third, Judge at second, Stanton at first, two out of the inning. Next offer in there for a strike. And the count is even, two and two. Swung on, belted. That one's back there. Out of here, Grand Slam. And they boost their lead. It's 6-1. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this one. Digging in, Anthony Volpe. That one down the line, that and down. that's just foul. Two down, nobody on. The shortstop takes a ball. Well, it's easy to be satisfied and get a little distracted after a grand slam, but there's still a lot of work in this inning to do, and you can really... Three. Now that's strike three and the third out, so we take a break. It ain't no surprise. Back in Boston, Reading bottom off. of the sixth We're inning. Right Here's now. a big power threat, no Tyler O'Neill. Tyler the 2-1. Oh, yeah. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. <laughs> well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff right man is aboard to start the inning. Well, in the box, he's no, seen no. that movie before. It wasn't a good movie either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. Man aboard, and here is Devers. <laughs> At the belt and fires. And a foul ball. 
The Yankees leading by five here in the bottom of the sixth. And a one two again. Swings and misses. He swung over top of the curveball. And at first, here now the Red Sox DH, Masataka Yoshida. And that one fouled off. Step off, throw to first. O'Neill gets back easily. Up the middle, Torres takes it to the bag. That's one. On the first double play, and that's the inning. Back here in Boston, now the third baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. The pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Swings and misses, struck him out. So up next, Austin Wells. Number 28, Austin Wells. And the righty deals. Foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Oh, yeah, that's a little bit high. Two it's two and two. two it's a good take. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Aye. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. Here's Glaber Torres. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The second base. Glaber. Two outs. Just no, missed. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. And hey. a strike to Glaber. <laughs> Here comes a pitch. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But they get the oh. out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. Set for the last Leading half of the seventh, Whoa. and now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Whoa. Connor Wong. Whoa. Started go. to go at the 2-1, appeal down to first. No swing, he held up. Clyde Washington with the call there. 3-1 now. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Count of three and two. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Now, and here's the first baseman, Bobby Dahlbeck. The lefty ready and a 1 1. And that one hammered. That's back. That's not coming back. And they cut it to the lead. It's 6-2. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that. And probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. Now a chance for En Manuel Valdez. One down, base is empty. And two now balls, two and two. two Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the center fielder, Sidane Rafaela. The Red Sox down by four here at the bottom of the seventh. And another ball.
Wouldn't Great chase that time. Two down, nobody on. There's a swing and a drive. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Nice job going the opposite way with it, letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to yep. hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. And now the lefty. And that is in for a strike. And the count is 2-2. Two and two. And that's downstairs and outside. Bounce to the right. Oh, what a stop. Takes it himself, and he got him. Nicely done at first for the out. We're at the top of the eight, and now it's Juan Soto. Ball on a strike. And strike two. One ball, two strikes. Breaking ball inside. Now two and two. Next offering misses down and away. Lace down the line. Base hit right field. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel good. Judge comes up empty there. That one almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Not even close there. And that's ball three. And a pitch. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now back. The left-hander on now, number 71. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing teams did that to me. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Inside corner for a strike, and the count's even at two. Rafael right there to make the grab. Rounder tags it second to third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. John Carlos Stanton to the plate now. Runners at the corners, one away. And we're at the top of the eighth. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball. Oh, just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up at that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Alex Verdugo now at the plate. Alex Verdugo. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. That misses, and it's two and one. Fouled off to the right. Two two down. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And that is that. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Victor Gonzalez. Now down the number two hitter, David Hamilton. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. And that one hit to first. 
Knocks it down. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. Tyler O'Neill digs in now. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. A couple of singles back the to back. back. I really the like that team. swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. Yeah, he yeah. drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Swings through that one for strike one two. Two straight. That one is absolutely belted. And that gets down in the corner. One run across. O'Neill flies around third. He'll score. Two runs are in. And it's now a two-run game. Straight on together. That's three hits in the So they turn things over to the righty. Luke Weaver. Pretty big spot he's coming into trying to strand that runner at second base. So he's going to need to make some quality pitches. He does have first open if he needs to use it. One Comes ball. up empty. Two That's strike two. <laughs> On the ground to third, oh, and he grabs it foul. Tying run at the plate. Two balls. This one in the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Left hand batter waits. Three. Got him swinging for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike now three. Here's the catcher. Not a walk. On the ground right side and he handles it himself for the out that's why you hug the lines on the corners late in the ball game like this position perfectly so digging in Bobby Dahlbeck with the tying run at the plate here the bottom half of the eighth inning high fly ball out towards left field that's back and it's through the monster and off the billboard his second home run of the game, and they tie it up. It's 6-6. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, Ed Manuel Valdez. And that drops in for a strike. And a pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. We're back. It's the top of the ninth. And there's a new pitcher on the mound. Greg Weiser. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team. And there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. Swag and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Always feels amazing getting oh, a job okay, done okay. when the team needs you to come oh, through. Okay. It's just bigger okay. than your okay. own individual stats. Okay. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. They put the tag on him, and he gets the job done. Tied at six. And next for New York, Austin Wells. Pickoff throw, and they got him. Two outs. Uh oh, that got him. And the potential winning run is a bull. Yeah, you know, he'll act like he really wanted to hit, but he's as happy as anyone that he got hit by that pitch just to turn this lineup over back to the top. The 1 1. 
Now you swing and miss. Well, don't expect too many more hot fastballs. This is a good sinker ball pitcher, and sometimes they can make mistakes trying to pitch up in the zone. Look, runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Inside Fenway Park, all set for the bottom of the ninth. And stepping in for Boston, Sidine Rafaela. There's a line drive to left field. Judge hustles it back in as they hold the winning run at second base. It's a leadoff double, and the winning run is at second base. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now here is Jaron Duran. Ground ball right side. One out, bottom of the ninth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff, just like we saw. The 1-1. One -one. And now the runner breaks for the plate. It's a squeeze. The winning run crosses the plate, and the Red Sox win it on a walk-off squeeze. Wow. When it comes to call from the bench, you've got to have a lot of confidence in the ability to handle the bat by that guy standing at the block. Well, he got it done with the ball on the ground. That's all you're looking for in terms of execution. Incredible finish to this game.